everyone talks about who might be the real Rosalind Carter. Uh, they talk about the steel magnolia. Uh, and I've got to ask you this question. Where's the magnolia? <laughs> Where's the steel? <laughs> I think I, that started in the campaign. And, and once somebody writes that, it just keeps being uh, picked up. Is it more steel than magnolia or the other way around? I don't know. I never have felt that I was steely. <laughs> so, what do you think the public perception of Rosalind Carter is? <clears throat> I don't know. It's probably what people like you say. She's a steel magnolia. <laughs> but it's not because I am. Well, I think it's, it's perhaps, I know that both you and your husband are uh, fans of James Dickey, great Southern yes. poet. Yes. Let me, let me read you something that James Dickey said about, okay. about Southern women. They're very loving and very affectionate, but they really think their men are dependent on them. If their man is brilliant, they think he's brilliant because they've helped him be brilliant. Basically, they think their men are weak and could never have gotten anywhere without their help. I remember reading that. True? I, I don't uh, agree with him 100%. I think, I think the Southern woman, and I don't know, maybe all, probably all women, feel that they can be a help to the man in their life. But as far as that goes, I think the men feel the same way. Jimmy feels the same way about me. He feels that he helps me. I feel that I can help him, but I don't feel that he's president because I made him president. I don't feel that he's successful because I made him successful. But no. you probably more than any other person other than himself <clears throat> made him president, wouldn't you say? But I never could have made him president uh, just by wanting him to be, if I ever wanted him to be. <laughs> what do you mean by that, if I wanted him to be? Were there doubts? There were doubts, um, sometimes along the way, yes. Mm -hmm. And and it's a, a um, awesome responsibility. And that was, that was the only doubt that I had about it. I'd never doubted that he could be a great president. But my doubt was whether I wanted him to have that, re that responsibility. Do you ever, in your low moments, say, I wish I wasn't first lady? Um, sometimes, yes, <laughs> I'll have to admit. Just before you came, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Me? If I didn't have to do an interview with you, I could just go, go to bed and take a nap. <laughs>